top 10 largest dams in Africa. Since the beginning of time, man has been building dams to keep water in rivers for irrigation and to meet residential water demands. More recently, the increased need for energy has fueled the need for dams to support industrial growth and light dwellings. Africa's resources have been strained as a result of expanding population and a drive toward industrialization, and the need for water is no exception. According to a recent count, there are 980 big dams in sub-Saharan Africa, with roughly 589 of them in South Africa, including Africa's largest dams. In the recent decade, Africa has seen a renaissance in the construction of huge dams to provide more regulated water and create hydroelectricity. The majority of these dams are found along the Nile, specifically in Ethiopia. Ethiopia's choice becomes all too evident when you consider the country's rugged terrain and number of rivers, both of which provide great areas for dam construction. Ethiopia's potential for harnessing its hydro potential was estimated to be only 1% at the turn of the millennium, implying that many more dams will be built in the future. Some think that the country is on the verge of becoming Africa's powerhouse. Meanwhile, Africa's largest hydroelectric dam is under construction in Ethiopia, and Africa's largest arch dam is already built. It is definitely not by chance that the country is known as Africa's water tower. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. 10. Katsi Dam, Lesudu. The Katsi Dam, a concrete arch dam on the Malabamatsa River in Lesudu, was built in southern Africa to help alleviate South Africa's water issue. The dam, which is part of the Lesudu Highlands Water Project, is Africa's second-largest double-curvature arch dam, inferior only to the Tekazi Dam. The dam is located immediately below the junction of the Bakong River and the Katsi Reservoir's western arm. The dam's water first passes via a 45-kilometer, 4-meter diameter tunnel before exiting at a hydroelectric facility at Mula. Because to the dam's high height, a gravity flow delivery system to South Africa is possible. 9. Meru Dam, Sudan Sudan finished the Meru Dam on the Nile less than a decade ago. The Meru Dam and hydropower plant is located 350 kilometers north of Khartoum on the Nile River. It is Sudan's largest hydroelectric project with a cumulative installed capacity of 1,250 megawatts composed of 10 Francis turbines, each with a capacity of 125 megawatts and generating more than 6,500 gigawatts of energy annually. The dam is approximately 9 kilometers long and has a crest height of up to 67 meters. During probable maximum flood conditions, the spillway may discharge 19,900 meter Q per second. 8. The Bujigali Dam, Uganda The dam Uganda's largest hydroelectric dam has been in operation since 2012. The power station is located 1,100 meters above sea level near Bujigali Falls, about 8 kilometers north of Lake Victoria, and its source is the Nile. The low-pressure river power plant comprises of 550 megawatts turbines and a spillway with gates that will be commissioned in stages between February and June 2012. 750,000 meter Q is the volume for this. The project cost estimate has been raised from 530 million US dollars to 900 million US dollars, a 97 kilometer transmission line parallel to the lines of Kampala and Owen Falls connects to a new substation at Kowanda. During the construction of the project, over 2,000 jobs were created. Bujigali Energy will operate the facility for 30 years before handing it over to the Ugandan government. 7. The Tekazi Dam, Ethiopia The Tekazi Dam, located on the boundary of Ethiopia's Amhara and Tigray regions, is a double-curvature arch dam. 
It is Africa's seventh biggest reservoir, having taken seven years to construct and open in 2009. The 188-meter Tekazi Dam is Africa's largest and tallest double curvature arch dam built on the Tekazi River, a tributary of the Nile that flows through one of the world's deepest gorges. The powerhouse has four 75-megawatt turbines that generate 300 megawatts of electricity. However, it only produces 1 20th of the hydropower generated by its bigger brother, the Grand Renaissance Dam. 6. The Kainji Dam Nigeria Kainji Dam is the sixth-largest dam in Africa and a 7.2-kilometer-long gravity dam on the River Niger. It was completed in four years and opened in 1968. The hydroelectric plant at the dam was intended to generate 960 megawatts of electricity. It's rather unfortunate that only eight of the planned 12 turbines were installed, resulting in a lower capacity. The plant currently has a 760 megawatts capacity. The dam formed Lake Kainji, Nigeria's largest man-made lake, measuring 135 kilometers long and 30 kilometers wide at its widest point. The lake is open all year for fishing and farming, but with heavy rains, the dam releases water, which can flood the farms it supports. The project supplies power to all of Nigeria's major cities, although not in the expected numbers. Some power is sold to Niger, a neighboring country. 5. The Akasambo Dam, Ghana The Akasambo Dam in Ghana is one of the most impressive reservoirs in Africa. It is the third largest dam in terms of water storage capacity. This dam, established on the Volta River, creates Lake Volta, the world's largest reservoir by surface area at 8,500 km square. Six turbo-generating units, each rated at 128,000 kilowatts, make up the dam's power plant. The turbines generate 912 megawatts of electricity, but the dam also serves as a flood control structure. The lake holds 144 billion cubic meters of water. The Rockville Embankment Dam has a crest length of approximately 700 meters and a height of 134 meters, with a total surface excavation of 12 million cubic meters. It was created between 1961 and 1966, primarily to generate electricity, but the lake's fisheries also provide a source of income for almost 300,000 people. The Volta River is well known as a trade and transport junction. 4. The Inga Dams DR Congo The Inga Dams are two single dams in the Democratic Republic of Congo DRC. Inga 1, generating 351 megawatts, and Inga 2, 1,424 megawatts. They were built in 1972 and 1982, respectively, as part of the dictator C. Seko Mabutu's disastrous industrial development project. The two dams now function at a capacity of 50% since in recent years they have not been properly maintained. The two dams are located on the Congo River in the west of the DRC, 225 kilometers, 140 miles, southwest of Kinshasa. The Congolese government intends to begin construction on the Inga 3 hydroelectric plant, a 4,800 megawatts facility that will cost 13 billion euros, 14 billion US dollars. 3. Jibe 3 Dam, Ethiopia The Prime Minister, Hila Miriam de Saligny, finally opened the 243-meter, 800-foot, Jibe 3 Dam on the Omo River on December 17, 2016, after years of delays, mostly owing to budget problems. The Jibe 3 Dam lies 350 kilometers, 155 miles, southwest of Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's capital. It generates 1,870 megawatts in total and is Africa's third largest dam, standing at 243 meters, 797 feet. The project started in 2007 and ended in 2016. At the flick of a switch, its hydroelectric project has the ability to trouble the country's meager energy output. At the flick of a switch, the Jibe 3 Dam has the capacity to double the country's electrical output. 2. The Aswan High Dam, Egypt The Aswan Dam, or more particularly, 
The Aswan High Dam from the 1960s is the world's largest embankment dam, built across the Nile in Aswan, Egypt between 1960 and 1968 and opened in 1971. The dam was built with a total investment of 1 billion US dollars. The Rockville Dam is located on the Egyptian-Sudanese border, and it is fed by the Nile River, with the reservoir forming Lake Nasser. The Hydro Project Institute in Moscow designed the Aswan Dam. The Aswan High Dam, with a reservoir capacity of 132 km3, supplies water to approximately 33,600 km2 of agricultural area. It meets Egypt's and Sudan's irrigation demands, manages flooding, generates power, and helps in improving navigation across the Nile. The dam was built to control the flow of the river, which supplies water to the entire country of Egypt. The Nile is flooded every year, with over half of the water being wastedly drained into the sea. For the first time in history, man has the ability to control the yearly Nile flood. The dam impounds floodwaters, releasing them only when necessary to maximize their utility on irrigated land, nearly doubling agricultural yield, to water hundreds of thousands of new acres, to improve navigation both above and below a swan, benefiting the tourism and fishing industries, and to generate massive amounts of electricity. The dam's 12 turbines can generate 10 billion kilowatt hours. Also, the fishing industry is sustained by the reservoir, which has a depth of 300 feet, 90 meters, and a breadth of 14 miles, 22 kilometers. One. The Grand Renaissance Dam in Ethiopia The Grand Renaissance Dam in Ethiopia, which is located near the Sudanese border on the Blue Nile, is currently Africa's largest dam, as we all know. It was previously known as the Millennium Dam. It is Ethiopia's most significant project to date, and it has the distinction of being Africa's largest dam, providing a phenomenal 6,000 megawatts of electrical energy annually at a cost of 6.4 billion US dollar. Its construction began in 2011 and is still ongoing. The reservoir, which holds almost 63 billion square meters, 68 billion square feet of water, is one of the continent's largest. It has a total area of 1,680 square kilometers, 650 square miles. The dam's walls are 145 meters, 475 feet high and 1,800 meters, 5,900 feet long. The main dam is made of roller-compacted concrete, a mix of regular concrete and fly ash. The mix is drier and has no droop since the method requires less water. It is trucked in and spread out by bulldozers before being compacted with vibrating rollers. When completed, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam will be Africa's largest dam, measuring 1,800 meters in length, 155 meters in height, and holding 74,000 million cubic meters of water. The dam includes a 15,000 cubic meter per second spillway and a 5-kilometer long 50-meter high Rockville Saddle Dam. The dam's generating capacity will be provided by 16 Francis turbines housed in two power plants, one on each bank of the river, producing 15,000 gigawatts per year. The dam will be able to handle a flood of 19,370 cubic meters per second, reducing alluvium by 100 million cubic meters and facilitating irrigation of about 500,000 hectares of new agricultural land in Sudan. Upon completion, it will also minimize flooding in Sudan by around 40 kilometers. The dam's major objective is to generate electricity in order to alleviate Ethiopia's severe energy constraint and to sell electricity to neighboring nations. These major infrastructure projects, as well as those in various stages of planning, which promise to alter the lives of millions of Africans, have not been without controversy. Dams have been under fire in recent years for their severe environmental impact, as seen by the displacement of communities and the submergence of vast swaths of fertile land. Furthermore, its sustainability has been called into doubt due to shifting weather patterns, which leave hydropower-dependent countries without energy during droughts due to empty reservoirs. Furthermore, in recent years, conflict over water supplies has increased the genuine potential of war between nations. The most prominent is the one between Ethiopia and the Nile-dependent countries of Sudan and Egypt, 
whose livelihoods are jeopardized by the prospect of less water in the Nile's floodplains. In general, for such undertakings it will be rare not to cause controversy, although necessary. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notification.